Hey Frank, I'm going to show you the difference between these 164 scale manufacturers and these toy trucks. They're all good. It all depends on what kind of detail you want. A lot of guys buy spec cast trucks, take the cabs off, put them on the die cast for motion frames due to the, because the wheels turn, uh, fifth wheel goes up and down. And you can do a little more with the die cast promotion you can do with the spec cast trucks. <coughs> uh, the first truck I'm going to show you all is a Code 3. It's a pretty sweet truck. I like the Code 3. Never really were into fire trucks, so I bought this actually the first one I got. The uh, Freightliner FL70. Uh, a lot of guys buy these and uh, take the bed off, turn them into service trucks and whatnot. Uh, I don't know how they get a computer out of the cab, but if you look closely in here, there's a computer right inside there. It's pretty sweet. It don't really, the hood don't open up, uh, doors don't open, the, door, the roll doors on the back of the uh, fire truck don't roll. But I am impressed with the Code 3. I do have more. I have the ladder trucks, which they extend pretty far out. Uh, almost like the cranes and the 150 scale cranes. But the detail is pretty nice. I'm going to turn it back a little bit. The hoses do wiggle. A little rubber hoses, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know if I can pull it up to the phone to where it can zoom in perfectly. The detail in these are, is out, 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 uh, there's not a word to describe it. This is outrageous. Um, uh, I do like the Code 3. I have been starting to buy more of the fire trucks. Uh, so if you're into fire trucks or customizing your own trucks, that would be the way to go is get a Code 3. I do like the Freightliner, uh, FL. 70 that is a pretty sweet truck uh i kind of like this one because it's got the, like the dummy sticks on the front of them it's a pretty sweet little truck but that was a code three there's a die cast promotion bubba's this one's the tanker i do have the grain hopper as well as the reefer as well there's 150 of these made uh i i like the bubba's collection uh Really don't do much except fifth wheel goes up and down. Uh, the hood does open up to, to reveal the Cummins inside the uh, engine compartment. Uh, I do like the exhaust, the little factory deals. Now the wheels do three point turns, so which is pretty sweet. Uh, die cast promotion is pretty much top dog into the 164 scales. Uh, I do love the detail of the Bubba trucks themselves. Uh, it does have a nice little insert grill. You can buy insert grill covers, uh, different designs and whatnot. Uh, I'm just going to keep this one just plain Jane because you know I like the uh, rose color with the uh, maroon. And uh, I do also like the uh, silhouettes of the chrome ladies on the flap as well as on the tanker. Swing the tanker around for y'all. It is a sweet truck. Uh, the landing gear does go down. Uh, top's pretty sweet too. Got the little caution tape for as if you were up there opening up the dump some juice in there to take back to where you got to go uh, like I said though it is a sharp truck the landing gear do screw down and it is a sweet piece all three of them are sweet pieces and my preference I like all of them not too bad but uh that is the Bubba's 164 scale die cast promotion now I'm going to take you to this next one. This is a Prem from J.J. Uh, Keller. From what I understand, they only made five or six of these for a promotion giveaway. I'm not too for sure. Uh, the doors do open. 
It does have a partially rolled down window. Uh, the hood does not open on this. But the only reason why I bought the truck was one, it was a Western Star. Two, I like how the pipes are beveled outward at an angle. And these uh, propane, not propane cylinders, but these excelling cylinders do come off the trailer. And the trailer just looks sweet without them on there. Uh, I do like the detail in the back of it. It's a sweet trailer. Uh, once you put the cylinders back in there, it's a pretty, pretty sweet setup. Uh, if you do find one, I do highly recommend to get get one. I think I only paid like $90 for this on uh, eBay. Uh, they are hard to come across, and you will pay a little bit of money for them. But uh, I am going to add toolboxes here, airlines, as well as some toolboxes on the truck, the trailer itself. But it is a pretty sweet truck. I do like the Western Star. It don't take long to show that one because it ain't really spectacular. It ain't that spectacular. But now this one here, this one's a gearbox. I like the T600AK dubs. Uh, I like the black on this one. This one's pretty shiny, man. Uh, the doors don't open. The hood does not open. Uh, the fifth wheel does go up and down somewhat. Not much. Uh, it does have the air lines, which is pretty sweet, with uh, painted lights on the back if you see them. Uh, there's one there. The one right there kind of blends in with the emergency line. Uh, the flaps are pretty tight. But a lot of guys buy these and put them on the die cast for motion frames due to the fact that you can extend the frame, turn the wheels, and add more doodads to the truck. Uh, this one's pretty sweet. Uh, the tr tandem axles do slide on the trailer. And uh, as far as I know, they're the only ones that slide on the trailer. Uh, which is kind of weird because I thought die cast promotion or first gear would have came up with this idea. But the doors do open. Uh, they are sweet. They are nicely detailed. It is a detail model. I do have a tanker from Gearbox. Uh, that's a sweet setup too. I've done little additions, chrome, you know, chrome to some of my trucks. Uh, it is expensive hobby. You can pick these up pretty much at any toy shop in the mall for like between ten to twenty dollars. Uh, depending on where you go in the toy shops, mostly in the malls. But I do clean my trucks with a Q-tip with Windex uh, every two, three months. I built a curio for my truck so they don't get dusty as much. This one here is a die cast promotion. I think a level two if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is a Bulldog Express. This, this, this model here is pretty interesting for a 164 scale. The load does come off, but as you see, I still have the straps to hold it down with the paper on it. Uh, this one's pretty sweet. The fifth wheel does go up and down. It does have a sweet little headache rack with binders hanging. It's kind of crooked. I don't know why I got it like that, but I did add the antennas to it. Kind of make it look a little more realistic. I think I'm going to stretch the frame on this, but this model here in particular... The cab actually lifts up to reveal the detail into these trucks. I don't know if the, my camera will be able to zoom in on some of this, but it does have velvet in there, man. It's crazy. Uh, it does have little seat armrest uh, seats. It's as well as has a Cummins under the hood. Uh, the wheels do turn. I don't know if it's three-point or not. Yes, yeah, three point wheels turning radius on this bad boy. That is a sweet model. There's the back of the cab, if you can see it. Nothing spectacular due to the headache rack. And you got to watch some of these models because sometimes, man, some of these pieces just break off and then you have to glue them back on, which is pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about it, don't have a sun visor, but I'm going to go ahead and order me a sun visor, hook it up. 
and uh, I want to stretch out the frame and uh, add air lines to it and maybe a toolbox on the side of the truck as well oh see what I'm saying you can't pick this thing up without the cab coming off it's bull a bulldog highway express so which ain't too bad I don't know if my camera will zoom in on that being so close but it is a nice toy though, that's for sure uh, now the flatbed it has a nice headache rack which is come off which I gotta glue down 